my first list is 25. I've called everybody four times, left the messages, and I've, out of the 25 on my list, I've talked to five. Three wanted value checks, but they just wanted it for their attorneys. They didn't have any plans on selling. Two um, had their own agent, and the rest, every Monday, I leave them a voicemail. I know that one of them said that they had a family member that was moving in, and another one was that they just, you know, they just were, they weren't not going to sell. I would just quickly get my kind of my, my USP out there and let them know what it is I do and why I reached out. And just like if, if someone doesn't own real estate, you still want to at least make sure that they understand why you contacted them and what value you provide because one thing is guaranteed, they are going to know somebody who can use the service of a realtor who, who knows how to navigate the probate and the inheritance process. So I would say, you know, Mr. Seller, well, thanks so much for taking my call. Um, listen, just real quick so you understand what we do, we actually build a team of, of professionals and we specifically reach out to executors who inherit property so uh, it's great you guys have plans for the property and don't need help but if you could do me a favor um, save that letter that I sent you and if, if anyone else you know friends family neighbors could use the service of, of really understanding the process and with a team behind it you know do me a favor and hand that letter to them fair enough and I would at least make a branding opportunity out of it and, and hopefully get some referrals from those folks down the line. Oscar, if you don't mind sharing, what's your voicemail? Uh, my voicemail would be like, it would be, um, hello, name. This is Oscar with the Oscars Real Estate Team. The reason for my call today is because our records indicate that you are a um, executor for a property here in Ventura County. If you are that executor, please feel free to give me a call. Um, we have some services that can assist you. My number is somewhere around that line. I haven't written it out, but it's something, you know, my records indicate that you are an executor around there. So one thing I found that helped me was I would always reference the letter in the in the voicemail. So, hey, hey, name, this is Chad Corbett. I sent you a letter last week. Just wanted to follow up and make sure you got that and you understood why we sent it and some of the services we provide. Um, give me a call back when you have a chance, 867-5309. And I didn't really mention that I know they're an executor or it wasn't quite as direct as, as that. So you might reference the letter and back off of saying exactly why you called. I've found also that the shortest, the shorter your voicemail, the better your callbacks. Um, and so you might, you might play with that message a little bit. The other thing I would recommend that's an MIT study based on 86,000 prospecting calls. And we try to only make phone calls Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we have blocks from 8 to 10 and 4 to 7. Based on the statistics, that's the best time you have at reaching those people. So you might move that Monday call block into a Tuesday or Wednesday and not have to leave as many voicemails. You might get more live contacts. And we have one of our newest subscribers. They are incredibly good at tracking everything in their business. And they followed that study, and so if they make 100 phone calls, they have 50 conversations, which is phenomenal. So you might just move in that block to, to get more live conversations. 